Okay, we're traveling down the 93 south towards Bastion Park. There's a torrent. Some torn up Brahmin out here in a nest. We just heard a roar. Oh. Mysterious quills. Okay. Well, I guess we'll be figuring out what that is at a later date. Okay. Gonna wind our way up this hill. Probably gonna have to server hop because that beast is gonna interrupt the quest we're on. So I'll throw my camp down nearby so I don't have to walk all the way back up the hill, even though I can just fast travel here. Apparently, I've already been here. Hmm, do I want to risk it? Wait, these are finely cl cut slabs, but nope, nothing unique about them. Okay. Uh, that's too close for comfort. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna set down my camp. And we'll just server... Good news is it's still sunny after server hopping. Okay. So we've made it to Bastion Park. Oh, we never even read our details, did we? Bah, bah, black sheep. Calvin Van Lowe left an entry on his terminal about some kind of meeting with a... Bo Peep in Bastion Park. I should investigate and try to figure out what it was about. Investigate Bastion Park. Optional, find all the clues. Well, we will find all the clues. There's only three of them. Don't know why. Something over here to cause a couple of you guys to spawn out? Nope. So there's a West Virginia school bus here. And a man chilling out on the bench with some Nuka Colas. A Red Widow. It's actually the coolest looking blood bug. Is the Red Widow. I was like, why is there still combat music? Because there's still combat. Okay, some tables. Wood pile. Oh, they're taking forever to fly around to me, aren't they? Well, I'll come to you. I'm also over encumbered. Where's the other one? Uh, I don't have my... Um... I don't have my... Carry weight boosters assigned for some reason. Oh, we'll drink a little pickaxe. Why not? So wait, there's a school bus here, but it seems like there's a bunch of like alcohol and stuff here. Uh, but these children were evaporated when the bombs fell. 100%. What is this? Oh, just a little, little path that leads to nothingness. Okay. Oh, magazine, guns and bullets. Right in the back of this guy's car. A random magazine, but I got a guns and bullets. Oh! Another rat. Oh, gosh! Two of them. I didn't realize there were two of them. Okay, nothing in this truck, or picker-up truck. Let's check the bus real quick. There are no seats in this bus, but there's a skeleton of probably the teacher. 
pack of cigarettes. Guess we'll check the other bus real fast. This one does have seats. Oh, and a monkey. Oh, a little souvenir toy. All, all these, shut up. All these toys left from children. And the bombs fell. Oh, and a second magazine. Well, now I know where the magazines are at this location, because no one's come here. You tend to not come here unless uh, you're doing this quest. There's not much here. Okay. Well, that looks important. So let's investigate the rest of the playground before we go over there, obviously. Um, a radio with a recipe, some more wood. I apparently don't know this. Mixed meat stew. And here is a... Possibly a parent that was cooking some Nuka-Cola before the bombs fell. Another mod, is it a good one? I don't care about that. Here's another woman. Possibly serving some up, serving some up, serving up some stuff when the bombs fell. Only three skeletons, all these cars. And only three skeletons. Okay, let's go ahead and investigate. Oh, I can't jump up there. Go ahead and investigate the playground now. It's got, like, oddly enough, it has um a raked ground, like a Zen garden. There's a dolly. Oh, and some chalk drawings. Something popped up on my screen. Like something changed, but not really. Oh, it's just telling me that all my all my information's right here. It's a toy truck. It's a broken doll. But yeah, their skeletons would have been evaporated. Oh, okay, well there's all three pieces of, of evidence. <laughs> uh, here's some beer and some Kims, a daddy-o. Some cigarettes. A oh, little little atomic roller and a toy alien. And then a toy clown. And what's left? Stuffed Grizz. I don't know if that's a random bear or a guaranteed stuffed Grizz. But if you do need the bears, 11 of the 12 bears can be found at Tyler County Fairgrounds. So I guess we're going to start... Oh, and then there's a sloth and a baseball. Yeah. Bombs killed a lot of people. A lot. And so much instantly. These are just children that were coming to the park on a school day. Yep. Turned to dust. Or anything underneath? No. Okay. Bo Peep's note on Calvin. Bo Peep, mission notes. T uh, October 2077. Calvin's, sorry, Black Sheep's last effort didn't pan out either. So it's this or nothing. I'm starting to wonder why I plugged so hard for this guy. If this meat doesn't yield results, I'm done and he's done. And I mean done in a very unpleasant sense. Wolf's at the end of his rope. The psych eval he showed me was disturbing. If I'd seen it before, would I have still pushed for the pro this project? Still have pushed to be his handler. How did Calvin even get clearance to work at a place like Bish? No, this is no time to second guess yourself. Social engineering is one thing, but this is another. It's all science. Calvin can do science. I know he can. I'll make this meeting, he'll show off the product, and everything will be just fine. Okay. So Calvin's working for Bish. And, oh, a camera. 
blood. Calvin's working for Bish. Oh, this is a crime scene. Nope, didn't update anything. Okay. Someone was here taking a photo. We'll read the crime scene after we read the actual notes. Wolf's letter to Bo Peep. Bo Peep, go ahead with the meat. You know I don't share your enthusiasm for Black Sheep and his projects, but we need a return on investment if we can get one. You're his handler. You fought for this project. Make sure it's worth our while. I'm going to want a report in person this time, but I've relocated since we last spoke, face to face. Meet me at Sal's Grinders in Beckley. The town's in bad shape right now, but the place is deserted. Nobody to listen in. Or nobody to listen in. And remember to burn this note when you're done, Wolf. Wait, when did the Bo Peep note? It just said October 2077. Was it post bombs? It could have been post. It must have been the day the bombs hit, if there's a crime scene note here. My guess is this, whatever this was, this happened on 20 or uh, October 22nd. And then the day of the bombs, the detective showed up to the crime scene. Crime scene notes. Detective Mondays, case notes. Wow, what a name, Detective Mondays. Arrived at the scene at 3.27 a.m. Yeah, okay, so it was right at the beginning of the day. I smoked a cigarette. Found the body of a woman in the playground. She was burned almost beyond recognition. Smoked a cigarette. I lamented the condition of the crime scene to myself. Interviewed a witness, Gary Wiggles, Gary Wiggle Jacobs. Witness was jittery, unable to stay still. Witness reported bright lights and screams. Witness is certain it was an alien abduction. Smoked a cigarette. Witness did not see actual attack. Smoked a cigarette. Lack of substantial evidence for any theory of the crime. Writing this up as a cause of death unknown out of cigarettes. This is his briefcase? So that's why I'm saying this had to have happened the day the bombs fell because there's a suitcase and the camera is still here. They all died when the thing hit. But now we know Calvin started working for Bish. We don't know what he's doing for Bish. But this Bo Peep said he was good at science, which we know because he was he was going to Vault Tech University. And so she was going to use him for something. Just seeing if there's anything else around here. Any other corpses? I know there's a bunch of random encounter hotspots near here. That's it. We're going to be heading off to... Calvin Van Lowe met a woman codenamed Bo Peep in Bastion Park to give a demonstration. Something went horribly wrong and Bo Peep wound up dead. I found a letter from Wolf. Bo Peep was supposed to meet him at Sal's Grinders in Beckley. I should investigate. So we're going to head on down... Beckley to Sal's Grinders. <laughs> okay, so we made our way to Beckley. Now we just gotta find Sal's Grinders. It's a pawn shop. Papa Moe's. It's a gun shop. There's a strike breaker. Sal's Grinders, right here. Fresh baked bread, hot and tasty. Oh, ghouls. There's a lot of dead bodies in here.
Is that me? No, that blood splatter already existed. Okay. Wolf's message from Artubo Peep. Okay, investigate Sal's grinders. Hold on. Nope, so there's three traces of wolf. Yeah, that blood isn't mine. Or not mine, but I didn't put this blood on the walls. How's this one growing on the table? Okay, let's go ahead and listen to this holotape. Bo Peep, you failed to make our meeting. How very unlike you. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. You never struck me as someone who would skip town when things go south. I'm going to take a walk in the park. Maybe, maybe we'll bump into each other. If I get back and you're here, then I'll forget all about that missed meeting. If I get back and you're not, then we have a problem. Sounds like something is upstairs. Don't do that. Like, this guy was killed on this table. Did Wolf do all this? Is that what's implied? He walked in here and killed everyone that was in here? So that he could have a quiet place? Cause that, that blood has to be from this guy. He was shot that way. Or was it the Strike Breakers? Were the Strike Breakers here thinking these people were on strike? And so they killed them all. Oh, there's two pies here. Not seeing anything from Wolf down here. Okay. This Camden Park. Get out and stay out. Oh gosh, I cannot read this. Thought this would help. Never go back in a burning house. Oh, it's pro it's like a coloring page for the fire department. Symptomatic. Symptomatic in the bathrooms. They were <sighs> they're putting the mop bucket in the toilet when there's a plunger there, and also. They have buckets here. Why is the moth in the toilet? It's disgusting. Oh, right here. Black sheep dossier. You freaking... And then there's a skull over here. Okay. Black Sheep Dossier. Dr. Rebecca Sarkovsky, PhD, Psychiatry, Patient Evaluation for Bish. The patient, Calvin Van Lowe, a.k.a. Black Sheep, exhibits a disassociative view of the social world. His mental acuity and cognitive skills are extremely high. However, his ability to associate context with the stimuli is fractured at best. Patient exhibits mood swings indicative of non-functional inter interpersonal relationships and attachments to the contextualized world around him, Dr. R. Sarkovsky. Okay. I don't know a lot about bitch. Did I already say that? I think it was mentioned in, like, Fallout 3. It's a gas company, and that's about my extent of knowledge to bitch. Why is this boarded up? Where are the mysterious strangers here? Okay. So I got a glowing one, but sometimes when you come here, it'll be a Wendigo. So either a Wendigo or a glowing one. Check under those pillows. 
nothing. There's a hat here. Okay, none of this matters behind the door. Oh, what's the light? Okay, and all of this plays into the location. So we're not going to worry about any of that. We just got to find the last trace of wolf. And again, all of this plays into the location. Steamer trunk. Oh, binoculars and a combat sniper rifle. That probably belonged to Wolf. Which again, plays into my belief that he killed all those people downstairs. This isn't his holotape though. Sal's personal, personal terminal. Personal journal? That's Sal information. All the stuff that's Sal, I won't dive into, but HQ Relay Bravo. Check in 61. Type transmission to HQ Relay Bravo. HQ, this is Wolf. Relocated base of operations to a shop in Beckley. Owner, MIA. Employees, MIA. Customers, MIA. I feel like that's all KIA because we could see their corpses downstairs. <laughs> the place is empty. Uh, correction, the place is mine. Unrest in Beckley should keep snoopers away. If not, I can chase them off myself. Wolf out. Again, that's why there's a sniper rifle there. Check in, number 62. HQ, Wolf. Black Sheep continues to demonstrate incompetence. Overall assessment of progress is unsatisfactory. Assessment of Bo Peep's handling of this case is unsatisfactory. They'll be given one more chance. Final demonstration soon. We'll keep you informed. Wolf out. Uh, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Check in 63. HQ, Wolf here. Peep didn't make our meeting. Checking last known location. We'll leave... Next report at the Lewisburg drop off or dead drop may keep or may need backup. Refer any to next report. Wolf out. You reply. Wolf HQ here. Receive new info, info of police investigation into black sheep. Action may be required. Authorization granted. Proceed with caution. HQ out. Download the coordinates. That ends. Baba ba Black Sheep and starts the lowdown. And we get the pearly peepers, which are just unique binoculars, but I don't think these ones do it. Hold on. So, normal binoculars can't track targets. The pearly peepers, if you Let's go find an enemy. If you use the pearly peepers, they will mark a target and put a little, I believe, a little indicator over their head. Now, do they have to be live targets? Is my only thing. Well, this ain't gonna work because those guys are already marked because of. Oh, wait, if I turn this off. There we go. How do I mark a target? I clearly see it. Does it have to be live targets? Oh no, it's marked. Okay, I didn't notice. Yeah, so it marks it on your compass. As you can see down there below. Um, but we're not going to worry about any of that. We're actually going to be heading off to the next location. <laughs> 